News of the United States restoring diplomatic relations with Cuba for the first time in more than half a century has divided America's 1.5 million strong Cuban exile community and threatened to shake up the political landscape in the vital battleground of Florida. The announcement came with the release of an American intelligence officer who had been held captive in Cuba for close to five years. President Barack Obama and President Raul Castro spoke on the phone for close to 45 minutes. This was the first dialogue between leaders of the two countries since the Cuban Revolution. U.S. and Cuba have not had diplomatic ties since 1961. With the normalization of ties, U.S. and Cuba will reopen embassies, allow significantly more travel and trade. The announcement also saw celebrations in Havana. Today, the United States of America is changing its relationship with the people of Cuba. In the most significant changes in our policy in more than 50 years, we will end an outdated approach that for decades has failed to advance our interests, and instead, we will begin to normalize relations between our two countries. Through these changes, we intend to create more opportunities for the American and Cuban people and begin a new chapter among the nations of the Americas. First, I've instructed Secretary Kerry to immediately begin discussions with Cuba to reestablish diplomatic relations that have been severed since January of 1961. Going forward, the United States will reestablish an embassy in Havana and high-ranking officials will visit Cuba. Esta decisión del presidente Obama merece el respeto y reconocimiento de nuestro pueblo. Quiero agradecer y reconocer el apoyo del Vaticano y especialmente del Papa Francisco al mejoramiento de las relaciones entre Cuba y Estados Unidos. I truly hope that we can now get beyond these mutually belligerent policies. And I was very happy to hear what the President had to say today. It was particularly cool to be sitting next to the Secretary of State as he was hearing about his job description for the next couple of months. In all seriousness, this is a game changer, which I fully support. <laughs> Y eso para nosotros, hermano, las relaciones que se van a... ya se, se firmaron las relaciones diplomáticas. Supongo que sí, como ahora, como están revolviendo ahora los, los tres cero, por lo menos ahora van a arreglar un poco la, la convivencia de Cuba con Estados Unidos.